Did you know that every year, a staggering 4.8 billion Ferrero Rocher chocolates are manufactured? Quite impressive, isn't it? And it all commenced with the visionary Mikel Ferrero, the man who turned his father's local bakery into a multi-billion dollar company. Starting from a small bakery to evolving into a multi-billion dollar corporation, his journey is truly captivating. Ferrero is a well-known brand, famous for its delicious chocolate and confectionery products. As the second largest company in the chocolate and confectionery industry globally, it's no wonder that Ferrero has become an icon. Join us as we uncover the secrets behind Ferrero Rocher's triumph, from its golden packaging to its superior ingredients. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to receive captivating business stories like this. Mikel Ferrero's story starts in the picturesque region of Piedmont. Born in 1925, he grew up in the charming village of Alba, nestled between the Alps and Switzerland. This area was renowned for its vineyards, ancient Roman remnants, and breathtaking architecture dating back to the 12th century. His father, Pietro, was an ambitious baker in Alba who had grand aspirations. Through his unwavering dedication, Pietro Ferrero transformed the Piedmont community into a thriving center for chocolate with his creation of Gianduja, a luscious dark chocolate paste. This delectable regional specialty, known as Pasta Gianduja, quickly garnered national recognition thanks to Piedmont's strategic marketing efforts. Packaged in convenient aluminum wrapped loaves that could be effortlessly sliced, it became an instant hit. In 1946, Pietro, along with his brother Giovanni, established the Ferrero Company, expanding their humble pastry shop into a larger enterprise. However, it was Michele Ferrero's birth that would ultimately alter the course of the company. Growing up in the picturesque village of Alba, Michele closely observed and learned from his father, gaining invaluable expertise in the chocolate-making process. Sadly, tragedy struck when his father passed away at the young age of 51, leaving Michele devastated. Despite this immense loss, Ferrero persevered and continued to thrive, solidifying its position as a household name and a leader in the chocolate industry. As the business rapidly expanded, Michele rose to the occasion, assuming greater responsibilities alongside his uncle Giovanni, and successfully navigated the challenges that came their way. Unfortunately, tragedy struck again when Giovanni also passed away, leaving Michele to manage a rapidly expanding business that showed no signs of slowing down. While Pietro was alive, he shared with his son his great talent for creating unique sweets. Due to the difficulty of importing chocolate during the war when Italy was cut off from the rest of Europe, Pietro turned to hazelnuts as a substitute out of necessity. Little did he know that his creativity would lead to the birth of a company, a workshop, and a factory to increase production. This is how Pasta Gianduja came to be, and it would later undergo transformation under Michele's leadership. With his ambitious vision, Michele steered away from traditional chocolate bars and fillings. He introduced Super Crema, a chocolate spread that was first introduced in 1949, a few years after Michele took charge, and it turned out to be a huge success. Suddenly, chocolate became a part of everyday life for the average Italian, rather than a luxury item. Super Crema was stocked alongside other spreads for bread, showcasing Michele's innovative spirit. Did you know that the Ferrero Group excels in its targeting strategy? Now, click the subscribe button to keep receiving the latest financial news and updates from Turbo Finance, the super crema of finances. Let's keep going. Michele demonstrated his foresight by recognizing the significance of advertising and promoting his products to increase profitability. He adopted an innovative approach by utilizing a truck, adorned in the company's vibrant colors, to distribute chocolate to delighted children across Italy. This clever marketing tactic generated a desire for his products that often went unnoticed by his competitors. Under the guidance of Michele, Ferrero expanded its operations by establishing three additional factories, two of which were located outside of Italy. Michele's breakthrough came when he repurposed abandoned missile production facilities into candy manufacturing plants in the German market. Taking advantage of the post-war infrastructure and the increasing demand for candy bars, which had gained popularity as war rations, Michele successfully led Ferrero to prosperity. In a bold move in 1964, Michele decided to rebrand Super Crema as Nutella. The name itself evokes thoughts of delectable food items like mozzarella, portobello, and citronella. It is a fusion of the word nut and an Italian suffix. However, the name change was not the only thing on Michele's mind. His goal was to perfect the recipe, following in the footsteps of his father. Thus, Nutella was born, a completely unique recipe that distinguished it from Super Crema. 
Mikel's commitment to his creation was so unwavering that the Nutella factories were shrouded in secrecy. Even the media was prohibited from visiting the production facilities. It is rumored that the original recipe was translated into Arabic and safeguarded in an Egyptian vault. Such was Michele's devotion to his product. Michele's employment yielded tremendous success as Nutella quickly became a beloved treat for children throughout Europe. Its immense popularity prompted Michele to introduce it to the American market in 1983, where it instantly became a global sensation. However, Michele's ambitions extended beyond Nutella's triumph. In 1968, he unveiled a range of products designed specifically for children, aptly named Kinder, which translates to children in German. Michele was confident that he could captivate the taste buds of German locals, given Ferrero's existing presence in the country. True to his intuition, Kinder experienced a monumental triumph. Mikkel's unwavering dedication to crafting the perfect recipe, coupled with his astute marketing strategies, transformed Nutella and Kinder into household names worldwide. This legacy endures, delighting millions with each delectable bite. A timeless treat comprising chocolate, sugar, milk powder, and cocoa has always catered to a younger audience. Throughout the years, Kinder has introduced an array of delectable delights, including Kinder Surprise, Kinder Bueno, Kinder Maxi, King Ice Creams, and more. Michele, the mastermind behind Kinder, not only devised innovative products, but also employed a marketing approach of equal brilliance. Mikkel, after three decades of assuming his father's position, was finally prepared to reveal his most remarkable accomplishment, all while upholding Ferrero's esteemed image as an opulent and flawless brand and expanding their product offerings through different brand names tailored to specific regions. 30 years after taking over his father's role, Mikkel was ready to reveal his greatest accomplishment. In 1979, he introduced the world to a chocolate delicacy that would captivate people worldwide. His spiritual journey to the grotto near Lourdes, France, where a saint is believed to have witnessed a vision of the Virgin Mary, served as the inspiration for the name Rocher. Michele's experience at Rocher de Massabielle had a profound impact on him, leading him to name his new chocolate creation Ferrero Rocher and continue his pilgrimage for the rest of his life. The chocolate's ingenious composition reflects its deep significance, making it a true work of art. Imagine biting into a crispy, whole hazelnut generously covered in Nutella, all encased in a delicate wafer shell, enveloped in a rich layer of chocolate, and finally adorned with roasted hazelnut crumbs. It's a delectable treat that will satisfy any sweet cravings. Ferrero Rocher has attained an impressive level of popularity, making it a beloved choice for years. What sets it apart? The journey of Ferrero Rocher begins with its exquisite packaging. Each delectable chocolate piece is carefully enrobed in a glistening golden foil and nestled within a paper cup adorned with the iconic Ferrero Rocher logo. This opulent packaging exudes a sense of grandeur and superior quality that has become synonymous with the brand. The transparent plastic boxes and displays are thoughtfully designed to showcase the allure of the golden wrappings. However, Ferrero Rocher's allure extends beyond its captivating packaging. With more than half of its annual sales occurring during festive seasons, these chocolates have become a customary indulgence for celebrations worldwide. Yet Ferrero Rocher is no ordinary confectionery. The brand has evolved to offer an array of delectable choices to cater to diverse taste preferences. This transformation is attributed to Michele Ferrero's unwavering determination to expand his confectionery empire on a global scale. He tirelessly sowed out top quality raw materials from various corners of the world and established eight factories across five continents, supported by a robust network of sales offices. Michele Ferrero's visionary approach propelled his father's modest chocolate company into a remarkable global phenomenon. He astutely divided the company into three distinct brands, Kinder, Nutella, and Ferrero Rocher. Each brand targets a specific audience, with Ferrero Rocher representing elegance and luxury. The mastermind behind this iconic chocolate, Michele Ferrero, was a man of strong convictions. He believed in maintaining Ferrero as a politically neutral company and minimizing sponsorship agreements, ensuring the company's impeccable reputation. Ferrero was renowned for his unwavering dedication to his principles. He invested in social initiatives that fostered a close-knit community tied to the company. Additionally, he expanded transportation infrastructure to attract a broader workforce, potentially explaining the absence of worker strikes at Ferrero. Following the launch of Ferrero Rocher, 
Miklay established the Ferrero Foundation in his cherished hometown of Alba. This versatile facility is exclusively accessible to employees who have dedicated over 25 years to the company. It features a kindergarten, school, bar, workshops, fitness centers, and medical services. The Ferrero family still holds the reins of the dynasty. Taking hold of the reins, the Ferrero Group achieved an astounding $11 billion in revenue in 2019 alone. For over a century, Ferrero has been a well-known name in the chocolate industry. They revolutionized the field by introducing distinctive flavors and packaging. Today, Ferrero stands as a leading chocolate producer worldwide, enjoying a significant market share. In 2018, Ferrero solidified its position by acquiring companies from its main competitor, Nestle, for a remarkable $2.8 billion. This strategic move allowed the company to become the largest consumer of hazelnuts globally, accounting for over 25% of the world's hazelnut production, a crucial ingredient in its signature products. Ferrero's impact is most evident in Alba, his birthplace, where a quarter of the population now works for Ferrero, transforming the village from primarily an agricultural center. With its corporate headquarters situated in Turin, the brand efficiently manages its global operations. Thanks to Mikel Ferrero's chocolates, his fortune amassed to approximately $2055 billion, according to Forbes magazine. Ferrero's reputation as the Chocolate King lives on through a statue in Alba, even after his passing in 2015. As a family business for four generations, Ferrero's unwavering commitment to perfection has undoubtedly contributed to its achievements. So what do you think? Is Ferrero's success only about packaging, or is there more to it? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about managing your money and reaching your financial goals, you should totally subscribe to my channel, Turbo Finance. We've got tons of exclusive insights that'll help you out. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and show us some love. Come on, join our community and let's get your finances turbocharged. See you in the next video.